Control nodes in Composer are used to make editable fields in your control application so that operators can make real-time updates to live graphics. Each of these editable fields in Studio are widget properties connected to control nodes within the composition. As you can see, when I change text and images or any other available field, it immediately shows in my preview window. Notice that this title text does not have an edit field. This is because the title text widget does not have a connected control node within the composition. To create our editable title text field, we'll have to dig into the composition and create a title text control node. There are two ways to create a control node, from the data interface and control panel, or by using the node link browser. First, let's take a look at the anatomy of the data interface and control panel and create a control node directly from there. The control node portion of this panel is broken up into four sections. The top section, section A, is where we select and add control nodes. Let's add a text control node. Now you can see the text control node appear on the left, section B, where all the created control nodes are listed. These created control nodes can even be grouped together with a node container. The section to the right, section C, contains the selected control node's modifiable settings. Some control nodes, like counter and selection, are robust and have many more settings. The far right section, section D, is the fill-in form with all the editable fields that will be displayed in your control application for your operator. So, we've created our text control node. Now, it needs to be connected to a widget property. To connect this control node to our title text widget, move over to the composition tree and make sure the title text is selected. Then, within the Text tab in the Property panel, select the Text property. These pop-up options will appear where you can select a created control node from the drop-down menus. Now it's connected. Notice that the Text property field has turned green, which indicates that the property has been successfully connected to a node. Note that you'll always be selecting an underlined property, as these are the only properties available to be connected to a control node. The second quick way to create a control node is by using the Node Link Browser. The Node Link Browser is a simple pop-up window that enables you to create and simultaneously connect a control node directly from an underlined widget property. Simply click on an underlined property and type in your desired control node title. Next, click Add or press Enter to see your control node appear in the Data Interface and Control Panel. We've just covered the two ways you can create and connect control nodes to widgets. Jumping back over to our Control App, we can see that our title is now editable because we've created and connected a control node to that text widget. Thanks for watching, and for more detailed information on all the available control nodes and their specific settings, visit support.singular.live or check the video description.